When you're Jamie Foxx, it isn't good enough to be your average glamorous celebrity. You've also got to buy the nicest cars, go on expensive vacations, and throw legendary parties. Fox is a comedian, actor, and singer who has won an Oscar, a Grammy, and a hundred million dollars. So he has to live in a ridiculously decadent house. As you'd expect, he's taken this responsibility very seriously. His main home is in the Hidden Valley area of Los Angeles. It's a Mediterranean-style villa he picked up in 2007 for $10.5 million. This 17,000 square foot home was built in 1995, on more than 40 acres of land. He doesn't share a lot of pics of his space, but we know quite a bit about it. The 10 bedroom, 12 bath mansion features two fireplaces, dual master baths with a sauna and balcony, and an impressive five car garage. This being an LA mansion, of course it also has an Olympic sized swimming pool. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to buy a giant house in LA if it doesn't feature a big pool. There's also outdoor cabanas and double guest houses, if you'd rather relax by the pool instead of jumping in. Fox also has his famous recording studio where Brandy, Kelly Rowland, Swizz Beats, Drake, and P. Diddy have all recorded music. That has got to be one of the coolest rooms in all of California. If that's not impressive enough for this home, Fox also saved a man from a burning car a running distance from his front door. Where's a movie about that? Fox isn't just a lifesaver, he's also a legendary dad. Jamie made sure that his kids have plenty to do in the house as well. I had a hoop in front of my house as a kid, but Fox's kids have their own customized basketball court with stadium-style seating. It also has tennis courts, two large trampolines, a playhouse, and a table tennis area. If that didn't scream world's greatest dad loud enough for you, he also goes the extra mile to make sure his house has the Christmas spirit. Seriously, come December, I'm pretty sure you can see this house from space. The removed estate is surrounded by mountains on all sides. It is the perfect secluded space to build family memories and record music. Of course, Fox also has a home that's legendary for anything but family-friendly activities. He bought his 5,428 square foot home in Tarzana for $930,000, way back in 1997. The outside of the home isn't all that impressive. Frankly, it just looks like a modern version of the Alamo. Once you're inside though, you see a home fit for a future star. It features five beds, six baths, a game room, a home theater, and a recording studio. Of course, it also features an enormous pool and pool house. While the home looks like a classy place to have breakfast in the morning, it's become infamous for the kind of ragers Fox would throw. Parties that earned it the name The Foxhole. These parties ran on a much tighter budget than you'd think. After P. Diddy told Fox that he dropped a million and a half on a party, Fox apparently decided to show him up for 400 bucks. Now imagine that gorgeous outdoor villa with a table of Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pitcher of Coca-Cola. Now imagine the likes of Missy Elliott, Jay-Z, Kanye West, and of course Katie Holmes partying on a few hundred bucks worth of fast food. That's how Jamie Foxx throws a wild party. Eventually, Foxx put his lifestyle behind him when he sold the home in 2008 for 2.3 million. I still kinda hope he throws a rager for the cast of Spider-Man No Way Home. Can you imagine partying with Tom Holland, Alfred Molina, and Willem Dafoe? Legendary. The only thing more legendary than Foxx's parties is his car collection. I've seen quite a few impressive collections from Hollywood, and this one might be one of the best. For starters, we have one of Hollywood's favorite cars, the Bugatti Veyron. He took his blue $2 million Veyron and changed it to his golden egg. A gold paint job like this can run thousands of dollars. It is one of the nicest cars money can buy. The Veyron features an 8-liter 16-cylinder engine with 1,200 horsepower. Its top speed is 267 miles per hour, and it can hit 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Even though only 450 Veyrons were made, it seems like at least half of those are driven around in LA. Jay-Z, Tom Brady, Tom Cruise, and even Simon Cowell all drive one. Another of Fox's favorites is his Mercedes G-Class SUV. This Mercedes Titan boasts a turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 engine with 416 horsepower and 450 pound per foot of torque. It has a 9-speed automatic transmission, 19-inch wheels, all-wheel drive, and 3-zone climate control. It has a top speed of 130 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 time of 5.6 seconds. Like his Bugatti, Fox wrapped this car in his signature style. It basically looks like his own golden tank, which is probably something he'd buy if he thought of it. He's not the only one who loves a G-Class in his home. His ex-girlfriend Katie Holmes was also spotted driving one when they were together. Though she didn't paint hers gold, that's probably why they broke up. 
Speaking of giant SUVs, Fox also loves his big Resvani van. The 2.4 liter 500 horsepower supercharged and intercooled Honda racing engine can take this behemoth to 175 miles per hour. It can also hit 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. All of that is really impressive considering the fact that it weighs 4,300 pounds. That's over 2 tons. It costs $155,000, or $295,000 if you get the military edition. That will give you ballistic armor that's apparently bulletproof. Because you run a big risk of taking fire while driving up to the red carpet premiere of Annie. I know I said that Fox doesn't have his own tank, but this is pretty close. All it needs is a jet engine and it's basically the Batmobile from Batman Begins. Perhaps his most interesting car is his Vanderhall Venice, worth over $30,000. The three-wheeled car features a fuel-efficient 1.4-liter turbocharged inline-four engine. It gets up to 24 miles to the gallon while managing to hit 200 horsepower. The Venice can hit 130 miles per hour and can do 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Really though, you buy this car for the look, not the specs. Fox loves to take pictures with his cars, but frankly I think that his Vanderhall picks are his best. It's hard to find a car cooler than a Bugatti Veyron, but Fox's Lamborghini Gallardo might come pretty close. This car can hit 202 miles per hour in 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. It can do that thanks to its 5.2 liter V10 engine capable of 562 horsepower. You can drive all of this power for $156,000. To be honest though, I gotta say that I'm pretty disappointed he didn't paint it gold. Another of his coolest rides is his McLaren 570S that costs $191,100. Its 3.8 liter V8 engine has 562 horsepower that can shoot the car up to 204 miles per hour. It can also do 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. I would never suggest that Mr. Fox ever goes above the speed limit, but you just know he's tested it to see if that 204 miles per hour is accurate. While Fox may like to keep to a budget when he throws a big Hollywood party, the daily cost of an A-list star ain't cheap, especially not one with tastes like his. He's a big fan of travel. I would be too if I flew around in luxury jets. He's been seen flying on a Jetlux private jet. Those can cost up to $8,000 per flying hour. The nicest of these services provide amenities like a private dining area, top shelf dining options, and even your own bed. While you might think Fox loves to party in the clouds with his best buds, apparently his daughters are his top choices to fly with. I also know that Fox likes to stay at hotels like the W Hotel in New York City, right off of Times Square. For him, staying at the four-star spot is less than paying a parking ticket. For less than $500 a night, you can stay in the same kind of place Fox likes to stay in, though you might be able to swing what he likes to do on vacation. He and Katie Holmes were spotted multiple times having a blast on a luxury yacht. Now he loves to get out on the water with his daughters on a Ferretti yacht. Once you've seen one, it's going to be hard to vacation without it. The ship features a cruise speed of 25 knots and a maximum speed of 30 knots. It spreads its overall length of 57 feet across three decks, with the main hangout place on top. There's plenty of space to drink and sunbathe, though I know Fox is also a fan of a good jet ski. That is, unless you want to stay in the flawless white interior all day. The price to own a Ferretti 550 is around $1.4 million. Even renting Ferretti yachts can cost upwards of $7,700. Aside from travel, Fox also has a passion few probably know about. He loves horses. In fact, the horse he rode from Django Unchained is his own personal horse. That probably explains why he was able to ride like a real pro. Apparently, he was given the horse as a birthday present and has been obsessed ever since. He even gifted Robert Downey Jr. a mare. A chestnut gelding like the one named Cheetah he rode as Django can cost around $9,000. It costs hundreds to keep a horse like this happy and well taken care of. There's also a lot of money Jamie Foxx has to drop in order to stay Jamie Foxx. For starters, he has Jack Manson as a personal trainer. He's a real pro who keeps Foxx in Marvel shape for any time he has to fight Spider-Man. Sessions with a trainer like him can go for up to $500 a session. These guys don't just run you through a workout routine, they're basically artists who look at what muscle tone the actor needs for a film and design a program to perfect that exact look. Fox is following up his fight with Spider-Man with a biopic about Mike Tyson. So I'm pretty sure Mr. Manson is getting paid. Fox also employs stylists like Stacy Young who make sure he looks perfect for red carpets like the one for Miami Vice. 
Big stylists like Young can make up to $1,000 per day. Evidently, Fox didn't realize that the studio wasn't paying for this one, and he had to settle out of court for probably a lot more than a grand. Looking at his net worth, though, I feel like he bounced back pretty fast. Jamie Foxx apparently makes around $10 million per film, so I'm guessing there are more Lambos, horses, and yacht rides in his future.